What's up, people? I'm bringing you guys a smack, a full WWE SmackDown review. This will be for Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown and WWE Main Event. Since I'm out of school now, it's now it's better to basically just do a full review instead of a two-minute, three-minute video and a custom thumbnail trailer. So um, let's get into the uh, results and my review. So we had uh, dark matches for the new TV show Total Divas. Alicia Fox defeated Naomi with a roll-up. And um, people had said that it was a very, very good match. Um, even though Naomi batched a couple of spots. And I just want to note out that uh, WWE was taped, Friday Night on was taped in Long Island, New York. And they were huge. We want Rod a chance. Oksana vs. Cameron was next for the Total Divas dark match, and Oksana won with an art awkwardly performed slam. WWE SmackDown opened up with Miz TV and Randy Orton and Team Hell No. The crowd went nuts for Brian and Kane, and Brian got into a fight, and Brian became the weakest link, and Brian, Brian was actually heelish, and Kane gets frustrated and walks away. The Miz asks, if Brian and uh, Kane broke up, it sounded like he said yes, but it was hard to make out. And then Teddy Wong came out and made the main event: Daniel Bryan versus and Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns later tonight. We went to a commercial break, and this match I thought was a very good match to open up Friday Night SmackDown with. Curtis Axel versus Chris Jericho was up next, and Paul Heyman did quote a promo. Before an Axel made his way to the ring, and Heyman was on commentary and was very interesting on commentary on my part, and ended up all of a sudden CM Punk's music hit. The place went bizarre and exploded, but he it was a distraction. He did not come, and Axel rolled up for the Axel rolled up Jericho for the win. After the replays aired, Jericho ran back into the ring and attacked Curtis Axel and hit him with a cold breaker. After that, the White family, Bri White, who I did see um, when I was at the WWE house show, I have footage from his promo, uh, was shown with tons of funk saying that the White family is weird and, and WWE is in big trouble when these guys show up. There was a backstage segment between Ryback and Kane, and Kane defended Daniel Bryan, and Ryback challenged Kane to a match later tonight, which Kane accepted. This match was my bathroom break. Heath Slater vs. Alberto Del Rio was next, and the match never got started as 3MB attacked Ricardo Rodriguez and Del Rio before the show, and they brawled, and Del Rio got Slater to tap out as Ricardo splashed Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre outside the ring, and they both celebrated. And then Dolph Ziggler appeared on a Triton saying he was cleared to wrestle and will be at Raw on Monday. I will make a separate video about that, so stay tuned. WWE also announced in a for the fans that were in attendance, November 24th, November 25th, 2013, will be returning, and the pre-sale will begin this Friday, June 7th, with the code WWE Raw. As SmackDown rolled on with another, basically another commercial break. Up next was Damian Sandow. I had no idea he had a kind of like a talk show host uh, with a uh, let's see. With like a checker, like a checkers board. I'm not even actually like reading this. This is just my memory kind of like, uh, kind of thing. But, um, Seamus, there was a whole segment between, uh, Damian Sandow and, uh, Seamus. I was getting a snack during this. This was kind of, I was getting out of work and I was kind of eating. We were watching it at a, uh, that Dango's. Uh, and then there was another backstage segment between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton who said they didn't like working with each other, and it, it appears if Brian was turning heel, but Orton suggested they work together, and Brian told him to stay out of his way. Another Watt Family promo appeared again, as The Miz came out for commentary for the next match, as it was Fandango taking on Zack Ryder, and the crowd lost their shit for Ryder, Wade Barrett versus Miz, versus Fandango is announced for the pay-per-view. Fandango slipped and went on the top rope, but went anyway and hit Ryder with a leg drop for the win. 
Then there was a backstage summit between Kate, Caitlin, and Natalia, and the secret admirer would be revealed himself on Monday Night Raw. Up next was the main event between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton defeated Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns via DQ. The Shield was super over coming out. Bryan accidentally kicked Orton. Ambrose stood interfering, uh, promoting the DQ after the match. Or Orton RKO'd Bryan and just stood there like CM Punk did after attacking Raw at one at Raw 1000. Lots of boos and it looked like Orton was actually turning heel. The dark match after the show went off the air, the Shield attacked Bryan and Kane and Sheamus made the shave, save, which led to our dark match main event, which Teddy Long did announce after the show. Team Hell No and Sheamus defeated the Shield via DQ. That was the This Is My Smackdown review for 7 9013. I'm doing full reviews for summer. So uh, that's what you're going to be looking forward to. And um, Raw review and another video upcoming. A quick review, I only kind of went through the highlights and my opinions. Kept it under 10 minutes, so that was good. And um, I will see you all in the next video.